Okay, so we've got some data here that I've pulled together. We've got some order data on this sheet, which includes customer name and product name. We then have information on a customer table about each customer. And in this demonstration, what we're going to do is pull together some customer information onto this order table so that we can then subsequently analyze this information by various attributes of the customer, such as the region that they live in. What I'm quickly going to do is add a basic VLOOKUP formula onto the sheet and then get back to you. Okay, so here we have a very bog standard VLOOKUP. So we are looking up, as you can see, the customer name, which is in E2. We're looking for that in the customer table. Now, critically, as you should know already, the customer name has to be in the very first column of our lookup table. And we are returning the, the information in the third column where it matches. So that, in this case, is going up to the top. The region. So just quickly then, this is the kind of thing that can go wrong with this formula or is not ideal about it. The first thing is if we simply drag that across and hope that somehow we're going to pick up the customer segment by doing that, then we are sadly mistaken because if and because we're not fixing our ranges, then we're going to be picking up. We're looking now at the order date rather than the customer. We're also looking at the customer table. From column B to E, which we can see here, is not going to help us at all. And again, if we start dragging this formula down, now it might work to start with, but sooner or later we're going to start getting failures because again we're now looking at, you can see we're now not starting in the right row. Now we've established the pitfalls of a very basic VLOOKUP. Let's go straight in to point number one. One, we're now going to fix the cells so that we can now drag the formula down without worrying about the fact that ranges are changing or anything like this. So I've stripped it back to the single original formula that we put in the cell here. So let's have a quick look at this formula. So you can see that we're picking up the customer name as E2 here. So the very first thing we want to be doing is in, that is always going to be column E, but we do not. So we need to add the dollar sign. Co row two, we want to change as we drag the formula down. As far as the table on the customer sheet goes, we that will always be starting in A1. So I'm just pushing F4 there to instantly put the dollar sign in front of both the A and the 1, meaning that will be fixed. And the D796 will also be fixed. We're picking up the region, which is region 3, and we want an exact match. So we'll leave that as false. OK, so now we have Atlantic there. I'm just going to drop that down and scan down and we should be error free. Yes, we are. OK, so that is step one. Step two, we now want to convert to entire column ranges. Now, what do I mean by this? The best way is to jump back to Excel. OK, so again, if we look at our lookup formula up here, you can see that we're picking up the customer table from A1 to D796 there. Now, if we just go to this customer table, we can see where that is. Big issue with this is that a single extra customer is going to mean that that lookup formula will fail because they will miss them. Now, there's several ways that we can deal with this. One way would be to simply maybe go up to a thousand you know, move the tech, move the range so that we're picking up more rows or 10,000 or whatever we want. And that would guarantee that we would pick up a few more customers, but it would not be bulletproof. There is no guarantee 
that things can't change dramatically. You could be involved in some kind of merger or takeover and you could be looking to use this spreadsheet when your customer file jumps from, as in here, 796 up to 100,000. Adding numbers to a formula does not make a great deal of sense in my opinion. So let's just keep things simple. It's far better if we change the formula. So instead of picking up a set region on the customer table, we simply highlight those four columns, push F4 to fix them. We now have the ability to create, to cope with an infinite number of customers. So in step one, we used dollar signs to fix our range and cell references. So we made sure that we can copy and paste this formula between different columns and rows, and it will hold the table reference static and make sure that we're always picking up the correct column to look up. In this case, it was the customer name. Secondly, we used we converted our ranges to use entire column ranges and the beauty of this meant that we were not restricting the number of fields in our lookup table and it can grow to the full limit of excel which at the time of this video publication is well over a million entries so don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tips, tricks and techniques to improve your productivity in Excel. Thank you for watching.